Today, I want to show you how I use a tool called a wood lathe to take these pieces of wood and turn it into one of these. All right, so we start off, our, I took boards just like these ones here, and I cut them into squares. Did you use your miter saw? I did, yes. I used my miter saw. miter saw he calls old blue. Yep. <laughs> I used that to cut squares. And then uh, I used Colonel Sanders over there to... Colonel uh, Sanders is his standing sander. Yes. <laughs> and I used that to make sure these were perfectly flat. And then I glued and clamped them together. And once they were all dry, I used a mounting plate, a much smaller one than this, of course, but basically the same thing to uh, secure it to the lathe. And now we'll go over to the lathe. And then lathe. what about the um, honey oh. dipper? Oh, yes, the honey dipper. Thank you, honeybee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I took a piece of wood just like this, and uh, then I take these, which are called spurs, and I mount the piece of wood at either end, and the spur in my left hand here goes into the motor, and that's why it's got those those uh, blades on it, so that it can grab onto the wood and spin it. And then this one goes in the other end, and it just holds it nice and solid. So. And then it spins it, and you hold the chisel yeah. up to it? Yeah, it spins it, and I hold the chisel up to it, and I'll show you that. Cool, and then yes. can we see the finished honey dippers to, yes. to see what it looks like? Yes, so. Inside the, uh, oh, yes. oh, you have a loose one. Too, yeah, right? I have a loose one that. Uh, is it in your pocket? Maybe? No, here it is. Oh, okay. So, and you see, this one broke, <laughs> <laughs> so it was not able to be used, but I make one just like this, and then I drill a hole right in the, the center there and mount the honey dipper and now it's a it's a honey pot awesome yeah. thank you for showing you're welcome and then you're going to show us what it looks like on the lathe yep all right come on over here to the lathe okay so i've got this one in process um so it started as the the rough blank it's called over there mm -hmm. and then i i used this smaller mounting plate and I actually also uh, applied a little bit of glue to the mounting plate and then the, the uh, some long screws because there's a, it's long and narrow and there's a lot of torque on it. And if you don't do that, it'll twist that thing off. You'll have some trouble. So uh, this here is what's called the tool rest. And you can think of a wood lathe as potter's wheel for wood. You take a chisel and you lay it on the tool rest and as the wood spins you move it back and forth or in and out or a curving motion can you show us what the what it looks like when it's on yep here we go Very cool. potter's wheel for wood and this is a special lathe where you can turn this around which is called the headstock and line it up with this piece called the tailstock and is that where you do the honey dippers? Yep, that's where you do a honey dipper. Or if you were going to do a chair leg or something like that, you, mm. would, you would do this. And uh, I believe it's called spindle turning. Nice. Yeah. And then this is how you do the lid. I can see where you're carving. Yes. Uh, the easiest way I've found to do the lid, instead of making a separate piece, is you make the blank long enough so that I can carve the lid as the end of it. And then when the lid is all shaped and sanded, I take a... A chisel called a parting tool and I just cut the lid right off. That is awesome. And then you scoop the inside out of the honey yeah, pot. Yeah, yeah. And From scoop the, front? the inside out. Yeah, so stand here and scoop it out. That's that's another reason why this lathe is so awesome is you can turn it around so when you do bowls you can stand right in front of it. Otherwise you have to lean around this part to get to the front of the bowl on regular lathes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you for showing us all of that. You're very welcome. I love to share. <laughs>